Sup guys and welcome back with some more Arknights and today we are going to be checking out every Arknights OST that I've never heard before. This is part number three. So we got about 12 songs today. We got some character themes in here as usual. I'm excited to hear these. Each time I hear these there's a bunch of bangers and they end up in the stream playlist. So without further ado, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new out here, and we are going to get right back into this. So first up, we've got Ark Knight's OST Snow Parade, a Christmas 2023 theme. Because it's been a good six, seven months since the last time I made one of these videos. Because I try to wait a good amount of time each time I do one of these. So, I would assume this is going to be good. This is going to be weird hearing Christmas music. We're in July. Christmas in July, that's a thing. You know? Why did I think that was Anya from freaking Spy X Family for a sec? Freaking Golden Glow. Let me see what they got. If I can see what it says. Indian Asian? The f I'm gonna have to vibe. It sounds good though. Just music, yes. The art is cute though. I like it. Happy, happy little song, you know? Like this would go if it, like, into the category, I would say jammer. It's a jammer. That's what it is. All right, I'm just gonna take the caption off. It ain't showing me none. I like that. Nice. Oh, that was a cute little touch with the, the little trumpets there. Popping out. I wish I knew what she was saying, but it is what it is. It's, it sounds good. <laughs> yeah, little... <laughs> I don't know. Little stuff like that in songs I like. Okay, little guitar solo? Okay, that was good. And there it is again. Bro, what's crawling from under that bread? Oh my god, that's cute. Just sleeping under there. It's not very sanitary, but you know. Snow Parade. Cute Christmas song. Cute Christmas song that was a jammer. With some adorable sounding like ad libs in there. That was good. So this one is Believing. Believed. Believe. Who is this for? Oh, okay. The boys. Alright. The homie Logos over here. Wait a minute. That is Logos, right? Wait, am I tripping? That is Logos, right? I'm not just saying the wrong character's name, right?
That's not Logos. Oh no, I'm stupid. That's not Logos. Oh my god. I'm my bad. My bad. My bad. Timeout. 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 I I had a feeling I was saying the wrong name. Nope. Nope. That's not Logos. Logos is a completely different design. What is your name again? Oh man, I'm gonna. <sighs> What is your name? One hour later. Oh, misery! Okay. There it is. I'm so sorry. Boys, I'm, I'm sorry. That was freaking misery, bro. I'm over here saying logo. Man. Send me to the gulag, bro. My bad. Anyways, back to the video. Let's go back a few seconds because I wasn't... I wasn't even vibing. <laughs> I had to I had to say the ad lib there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. It's catchy. So it's just showing all the elite operators of you know, giving them some respect. Cause they they really do be pulling up and saving people's asses. Hey the doctor. Oh, is Logos in the back over there, actually? Like in the background? Left side? Is that him? Or is that somebody else? I think it's him, because I see, like, the thorns on his outfit that stick out. Oh, so this dude just casually balancing a knife on his fingertip. I was about to say through again. I stopped myself. That's good. It is solid. Chill song acknowledging the elite operators and the work that they put in, and just like all that they've been through. That was good. I, I like that one too. Solid song. And next up, we have Ray's theme, right? Wing Step to the Grinning Valley theme. Did Ray just drop this week or something? I feel like I saw something about that. Which I don't think I know anything about this character. Look so happy. This girl's voice, though. Just like something you you would listen to if you're just out like you in a park you laying in the grass or something bro 
I never do that. You ain't gonna catch me doing that, but somebody would. Man, this hook's gonna be stuck on my head. And she's gonna be like, sometimes I like to imagine. The thing, this thing's just gonna be deep fried into my brain, the hook. This is a cute song, though. And also, I'm sure you guys wanna know what I think of the character, Ray, right? Um, I like her design. I like the like the boots she got going on. Got the legging going on with a yeah. We could consider those leggings, stocking stockings, right? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, the jacket is clean too. It's she got a clean fit on. I'll be honest, it's a clean fit. Like she just looks like a cute character. That's that's the best way I could put it. Like I said, somebody gonna be laying on a blanket in the in the grass at the park listening to this. They're gonna be living life. Like it's just, you know, happy song. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that one. There has not been a song yet today that has been absolute like jam or make me want to do a backflip well bang or makes me want to do a backflip off my chair yet. But the songs have been good. Hmm. Shoes theme. Okay. All right, Shu, I know you're all about the environment, but are you all about making good music also? Do you have a good theme? Am I gonna like this? We're gonna find out right now. Oh, I'm not gonna know what you're saying, okay. That's some damn good, uh, freaking art, though. She's hitting those notes. Beautiful voice, by the way. God, I love this instrument. This is like strumming in my ear, bro. It's nice. Very nice. Hey, yo, how you doing? All of the dragons pull up. Good to see you, Dusk. Now this part is really good. Solid beat drop for this. Like, why are the instruments just so beautiful, though, man? That's what I just keep thinking of. Oh, 
I thought I thought I was gonna go back to the bing bing bing. whole song but the beat drops were definitely my favorite part of that song like they were just so sporadically it was just crazy very um pleasing to the ears i wish i would have known what she was saying in the song though but it still sounded good regardless zoli okay this gonna be an another like vibey song Hmm. Probably. A lot more sophisticated songs today, eh? I wonder if this one has words or not. Or if we're just gonna be vibing. I mean, we'll see in a sec. But they made him look badass in his art, though. Okay. They didn't give bro words in this one. That's okay. We just vibe. Let that brother hit that flute. You know what this makes me think? I can't wait till Arknight's Enfield comes out, because I know they're going to have so many good songs. And with certain locations, you're definitely going to hear some music like this. And it is going to be amazing. I also want to know, how does Bro not cut his hands on this thing right here? Like, you move your hand the wrong way while you're trying to grab something, you are jamming your hand into these freaking spikes. I'm just saying. But I could see this playing in like Enfield. You go to like a nice village or something, you're walking around. This would definitely play. Like I wouldn't be mad if they if they use some of the songs that they've made for these characters themes in Enfield. I know they're not gonna do that, but some of them are so good like this. I like that one a lot. Calm gives a village homey vibe to it. So now we're on to what? Yanking. I don't know which one this is. I'm gonna keep it real with you. This is Rat King or something? Rat King, we vibing? Oh yeah, we vibing. It is Master Splinter. Leonardo. Go ahead, Splinter, come on. I know you're there. Look at my guy. My guy is clean. Like, you can't tell me Rat King don't got drip. Hey, <laughs> 
the Rat King is about to spit some heat for, for like four minutes, bro? Or like three minutes, basically. Rat, Rat King, you about to spit some fire? I wasn't familiar with your game, brother. I had the drip where I was, but I didn't know you were about to start spitting. Let me... Let me let you cook. Do your thing. Let me hear this. Hey, I wish I knew what he was saying, man. I know he spit. I'm gonna crank it up for you, my boy. My boy Rat King killing it. Hey. Hey. Oh, why is this B actually good though? I like the cyberpunk feel I get from this. Listen, I didn't understand one word the Rat King said in this, but you better put respect on his name. He's talking to shit right now. Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> The songs like genuinely sounded really good. It's just I did not understand what the Rat King was saying. But bro, bro definitely was was making sure people put some respect on his name. They were saying Empress to stay in real quiet. Bro, you know why. All right, Ascalon, you're up. Damn, I don't I don't know if you're gonna be able to top what the Rat King did, bro. One by one, Ascalon. What do you got for me? I think the Rat King thing's been my favorite thing today. Hey yo, it's the fossil. And Ascalon looks so damn good though. Step 
Nation and to feed where debts are due. You can have assassination, have the cake, I'll eat it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's a shadow, if you didn't know. Now you know. I like how it's picking up a little bit. Ooh. Well, she's the shadow boys. And you better look out for her. <laughs> you better damn well look out. No, oh, Ascalon's such a sick character. I just feel like I'm a shadow. Yeah, that, that that's another hook that's gonna stay in there. Once I'm done, I'll live alone. This line actually makes me depressed considering knowing Ascalon's history. Okay. Um the song especially Hey Revenant, how you doing? Okay, uh the song especially the words I'm a shadow really tells about Ascalon's mastery and assassination. Meanwhile, pass my test and I promise I'll care for you and never uh, let them rest. It's probably dedicated to Rhodes Island or whatever. Threatens Rhodes Island. They must be wary since there's a shadow that protects the company ready to strike as fast as the light and unnoticeable as the shadow. Damn. Well, they let you cook with that comment, brother. I'll leave a like for you there. There you go, 201. Okay. That was very well said. So next... We have, who's this, oh, Logos. Ah, funny, uh, Logos, I totally didn't call Misery your name on accident. I would never. Ha. Uh -huh. Okay. Whistle stop. Logos, you have to have a good theme. For as cool as you are, if they give you a garbage theme, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, that, that art looks freaking great, by the way. Ooh, I'm like in the vibe of this already.
Is it weird to say this makes me think of like some near music, but instead of a, a, the girl that sings those songs, it's a guy? Oh yeah, the whistle! You're talking about the... What is it called? The bone whistle? The bone flute? Like, you know what I'm talking about. The thing that, that plays... They, they, they blow the whistle in the game when somebody's dead, right? What are you talking about? Leave behind your dead, I will make them mine. Yeah, that's not a freaking intimidating line. I like this one. I think it definitely has a different vibe than the other songs I've had today. I'll tell you that much. I want to see what people are cooking in the comments for this one. Happy bragging moment that my 15 year old daughter Piper wrote vote verse two. Wait, really? Oh, well, congrats to her. Oh, that's that's pretty freaking sick. At 15, you out here writing songs? With some lyrics for some songs? They're hitting? Damn. Um, another song where the guys I seen is thinking in a chair. Um, Helliger, Silver Rush, Ebon Holes, Mountain, Lumen. Listen, the boys, they, they gotta sit down and think, man. Um yeah, the lyrics are full of references to death and souls, specifically about the farewell of a soul, a song fitting for his race banshee. It's so strange to finally having uh having Logos as a playable character in such a good theme is surreal. You can't wait to pull for him when he comes to Ian. Same, I'll pull for him. I will pull for him. I see this as an elegy to the fallen elite operator. Sad yet beautiful. I recommend ch checking out its instrumental version too. It's a little bit different with no vocal, but it's indeed beautiful. Hmm. Okay. Like I said, completely different vibe with this one. With all the death involved and such in it. I'm talking about the whistle that they use and such, but I liked it. Next up, boys. We've got Echoism. This is what, Teresa? Are we on Teresa? Finally? Hey, me, how you doing? Yeah, the fact that we're getting playable Teresa is still, like, mind-boggling to me, but, you know. Here we are. Do we even have anything left to drink in this thing? Am I just drinking ice? There she is. This makes me think of a Disney song, but like Disney music, but not in a bad way. Like some old school Disney music. Oh, 
Did that crown just pop? Wait, did that did that just pop up over her head? Or has I been there the whole time? Am I tripping? Yeah, yeah, it did. Once, once, once that happened, when she said echo, yeah, it popped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew I wasn't tripping. I'm, I'm like, I'm paying attention. So they're making me think about how they were tripping out if they didn't actually know it was Teresa or not. They're like, is she actually alive? I remember that was, you know, going on. They're like, I think I just saw her. <laughs> I don't know, I just started thinking about that. Anyways. No, don't end the song. Oh. No, that one was really good. That one was really freaking good. I, you know, probably won't go into the comments for that one just in case. I was thinking about it for a sec. Like you saw, I was scrolling down. And I'm like, mm, let me, let me, let me wait on that one. Let me let that one cook. Um, jeez. I just started thinking about her and Amiya through the freaking whole song. That that one's one that I'm gonna listen to after I'm done like with this recording for this video, so I could just full on like listen to it again in the lyrics with it. But it was very very good, emotional with this one. Um, it was good with uh this one for when right before the moment of where she said echoes freaking crown. Pops off, uh, well, not pops off, but pops up above Amiya's head there. I want to see what people are seeing about it, but I know it's going to be spoilers, bro. I know it's going to be spoiler. Like, I don't, I don't want to do that. But, yeah. Very, very good song, though. We'll go to the next one for the time being. This one's five minutes? Damn. Okay, cursed and right theme. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't think this would be something that we'd be getting. I, are we getting playable Kirsten? I mean, okay, if there's gonna be, we'd have to be getting playable Kirsten or something. I, I don't know. If you're gonna give her a, a freaking theme, I mean, well, I, they gave the Elite Ops a theme and not all of them are playable, right? So, I mean, maybe. All right, anyways. uh. Let's see, Kirsten. What do you What do you got? I start thinking about Dorothy's vision. <laughs> I will touch the sky. Of course, that's the name of the song, right? <laughs> of course, it is. Taking your ass to space. All right, this has to be a good song. Everybody involved in Ryan Lab. I don't know why also by the way i feel like my eye a little bit like i don't know i felt like it's kind of emotional listening to that, that amia and freaking Teresa song together i don't know like the vibe of that one got me a little bit <laughs> i like i feel like it, it it shifted my mood during this video bro like i didn't even know what to really say after that one 
Just wanted to add that in there as a little side note. I'm just like, damn, that, that thing hit. Anyways. How you doing, Kirsten? You all right? <laughs> seeing them all just there in the art together though I just started thinking about freaking Ifrit or Ifrit however you want to say the name Oh damn. She's going to Arknight's Enfield, boys. Making me think of the event I read last year. I forget the name. It was it was the one that had to do with Ryan Lab and everything. It was the latest one that had dropped. Like it was last year. Oh! Mm, countdown. Blast them. He's like, I did it. They went hard with the freaking instrumental for this one, bro. And that's what Kirsten did. Kirsten never let go. Stayed committed to that plan she had. You know that for damn sure she stayed committed. She's really a beloved antagonist. Got her voice. And a trailer got her own EP. Yeah, when an NPC gets a theme, you know they have a huge impact in the story and World of Terror itself. What you did, Kirsten, it, it was just right to strive for to make the first step. Good night, Kirsten. Yeah, Kirsten, like I said, 
She had that plan and she kept it going, bro. Yeah, you touched the sky, you did it, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Like, I really enjoyed the instrumental on that one, though. That went, that went hard. The drums on that one, sheesh. All right, boys, we got two more to go. Man, these last two songs have been, like, really, really good, but with the more, like, depressing vibe on them for me, though. <laughs> you know? Like, there's only so much I could say during these, except to just really appreciate the music and just vibe with you guys, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to just be yapping just for the sake of yapping. But that, that was, that was really good. We have Olpianus. Vows of the Sea. Also, I'm just thinking back to the, before we start with this freaking Shamu talking over there, I'm thinking back to this theme over here again, the Teresa one, and just how much, like, Amiya meant to Teresa also and all that. Like, I don't know, my brain is just thinking about things. I'm gonna have to listen to that song again. Anyway, sorry, I'm yapping. See, now I'm yapping. I'm letting my, 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 my freaking brain just start, want to make me yap. I don't know. I can't talk right now. That song is sticking with me, though. I'm gonna have to run that back. Vows of the sea. Vows to defend her we made long ago. They couldn't ever be torn from. Bro, he looks so cool. We braved any weather we never. I'm gonna talk about a character with some actual drip at this guy right here. And not because bro, it's just by some water. Hey yo. I see you, Scotty. I see you, Gladius. Can you feel the might of the wind at our backs? Spectre on the back. I, I'm coming for the ones who dare try to stand in our path become Thing of the past. Pirate time. <laughs> the roar of the men all aboard. I, I were coming through the seas down north on our old man of war. We sail until early morn. The vows to defend her we made long ago. Oh, they couldn't ever be torn from our souls. We brave any weather, we never surrender. Oh, in her name, in her name we sing. I feel like I need like a pirate hat. <laughs> We're coming. With the story or two of the storms we endured for, can we keep fighting for? As our days grow old, fewer sailors could say, I, I, I we're coming. coming. Here's a toast to the lads that we lost on the way who gave their lives in her name. This is the perfect freaking like pirate type theme, dude. This is great. This is like really good. Like, I love when we get this type of music in Ark Knights, dude. Like, whether it's like freaking Spectres or whatever the case may be. Like, Spectres theme went, like, Spectre Alter theme went freaking nuts. And this is really good too. This is like, uh, oh, what's a, what's the word I'm looking for? But it's like a chant in a way that this song is, you know? It's like something that you, you could actually see them like, like singing while they're on the ship, you know, like all together. That's why I like this so much. Like they really knocked it out of the park with the vibe for this. You hit the mark. Absolutely. I almost want to start singing along full on, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, this is this is good. This is I mean this is great. Like, bro. We brave any weather. We never 
surrender. Oh, in her name, in her name we say. In her name, is that what that just said? That. Oh, there, give that a round of applause. I, I love, like, I really like that song. I should freaking love that song. That was great. The song has a lot of we, but it sings solo and doesn't even have any harmony. It can be interpreted as a song that used to be sang by many abyssal hunters, and now it's all pianist himself singing alone. That's a good way to view it. We sail in the seven seas with this one. I really like this. Yeah, many have mentioned the plural we, despite a singular singer, but yet I've seen, I've yet to see anyone mention the different voices all pianist sings in, with a few rather distinct ones. There's a rough Capney one, likely all pianist is normal, no natural voice, a more youthful, energetic one a newer such younger member perhaps and at least one in between they may be similar but i recognize th two through three major ones maybe more variations he per he practically switches voices with each line well this is in no way uncommon in songs i think it was deliberate as Olpianus's tribute to the fallen as though imitating his squad his crew the ones long gone no matter how many voices are silenced by the waves they will never be forgotten truly couldn't be an arcanite's character without tr uh, some deeply tragic coping habits could he <laughs> Well, you know, Arknights loves their tragedy, right? So, that was a that was a very good way to interpret that. I like that. That was that was good. A song fitting for a group that's associated with the ocean for the glory of Aegir. Reject the seaborn and the last night, and like the last night says, kill the ocean. Yes, the ocean must die. All right, that was that 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 was one of my favorites I've heard today. All right, we're down to the last one. OST, Warm and Small Light, Nymph. A Castellian Rescue Theme. Okay. This one... The hell is this? <laughs> like, you like, like, hear a song like this, you'd be like... Like, bro... <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's what, that's what it makes me think of doing. Like, what what the hell is this, bro? Like, you, you feel like you're gonna like do a pose after this? Ah, uh, man, that killed me. I'm sorry. Like, I feel like I should start doing this. Also a cute character though. Look at her. The hell popping out of there? A castle? I'm surprised that this song does not have more views. This is like a cute song that would play in the in the credits of an anime or something, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> oh wait, they had they had. Don't tell me they had captions.
Okay. They actually had captions. They're just a little slow. I did not know that. A dreidel. Well, I don't know what she was saying in here, but it was cute. Cute song. Well, there you have it, my dudes. I think a very wholesome song to end on. I wish I would have known that there was captions for this video specifically, because there wasn't for some of them. That was good. Let me see what people are saying in the comments for this one. Yeah, anime endings right after the most traumatizing episode ever. Bro, literally. That's, that's like, that's a good way to put it. That's what animes like to do. They'll play some cute little freaking outro with the music like that after just traumatizing you. I don't know what the lyrics mean, but the tone and the title of the song makes me feel homesick. Just a, a small but warm light from the fireplace of our home reminds me of the sarcasm, erase the void of home. Man, y'all be able to find anything out of anything, huh? Jesus. My brain don't think of none of that. But I'll leave a like on the song because I feel like it's underrated. Um, A lot of good songs we heard today, my dudes. I will say. I'm kind of embarrassed that I forgot Misery's name and called him Logos on accident. That was my bad. I'll take the L for that one, chat. All right, that was, that was on me. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Misery. Put some respect on your name, especially for the crazy-ass abilities you have. Um, yeah, there, was, there was a lot of, like, um, serious vibes in here also. I think one of the highlights of today's video was the Rat King spitting some, some lyrical venom, even though I didn't understand one word that he said. Logos is theme, uh, talking about death and such. And the, the, wait, is it the Bone Whistle? Is that the right thing? Bone Whistle was going. Um, a song I'm definitely going to have to listen to again is the one for Teresa and Amiya and their relationship that they had there, um, which is a very essential and impactful part of Arknights, especially in the you know point that we're at. Uh, Kirsten was emotional too with it, and definitely a banger, and one that I really liked today was Opianus's. That whole freaking Abyssal Hunters, freaking sailing type vibe, pirate type vibe, I love it. So, great, great, great job once again. Most definitely. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Let me know, out of these 12 songs today, which one was your favorite, which one you liked the most? Uh, I'll see you on another six to seven months once there's like another good amount of songs that drop. And we'll be back at it once again. But it's always fun to do these videos. And I am very appreciative for y'all watching. Stay tuned for some more Arcanite's content. Polls, us doing live streams, me checking out new trailers for the game. I try to do it as best as I can. Um, we're up to date with the main story of Arcanite's if you didn't know that. You can join our Discord server in the description box below this video. Completely free to join our Discord. Um, just go to role select, hit the doctor role, and you'll have access to the channels that people talk about Arcanite's in. So until the next one, my dudes, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Stay safe. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and as I always do say, don't do crack, my dudes. Be sure to subscribe to the Special K Experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.